And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. I have a shameful secret, which is I just don't like breakfast cereal. I don't really have a good reason for it. Mostly, I think it's just I don't like food in milk. Um, I don't know why. I know everyone else in the world seems to like it, so I'm an anomaly there. But still, I realize how popular cereal is. So when I saw this game on the shelf, Crazy Cereal, and saw that even the side of the box had the ingredients, you know, serving size, two players, fun per container, endless, amount per serving, a lot of laughs, uh, a gaggle of giggles, a glob of good sportsmanship. So I'm always looking for good kids game, especially ones that need batteries electronically. Ooh, look at this. The spoon is going to change color. There actually is no spoon. Let's take a look at the game. So this is a two-player game. You have a bowl here of cereal pieces. These look actually pretty similar to cereal pieces. In fact, some of them, like these yellow ones, might even look real, but they're just plastic here. And they actually can withstand water. I know this for a fact. Um, and then each player is going to have a smaller bowl. And each player is going to get one of these spoons. They're big, chunky spoons. They, have, they need batteries in them, which are screwed in. The spoons have waterproof switches on them. I'm not supposed to know if you're supposed to dunk these spoons in, but I guess, again, you could play this with liquid. So when players start, they're each going to take their spoons and they're going to switch them on at the same time. Now, it's, maybe it might be hard to see here in video, but these spoons are going to light up. You'll see this one here was lit up as blue. Now it's lit up as red. And it will fluctuate between blue and red, yellow and green, and basically crazy mode or wild mode. And when it's wild mode, you can see here it's going back and forth between all the colors. So players are going to do this. So when it's your turn, you're basically going to be looking at what color your spoon is now. So my spoon's blue, so I can grab blue pieces one at a time as long as it's blue. When it changes colors, now it's red, I'm going to grab red pieces one at a time. So both players are basically going to be looking at theirs to see what color. Now it's yellow, so I'm going to be grabbing yellow pieces one at a time. Now green, I grab green pieces one at a time. And it never is orange, but when it's, uh, there's blue again, the only time you can grab orange pieces is when it's crazy colored. And is the crazy color hitting? It's hitting right now. When crazy color comes, you, get, you must get exactly two pieces at the same time. And this is the only time you can get orange. You can get any color you want, but there has to be two. And I'm back to yellow. And that's it. Once all the, the pieces of cereal are gone, you're going to count how many pieces you have in your bowl. And whoever has the most pieces is the winner of the game. Now, you can be maybe not so strict when you're playing with kids. Like, well, I saw it turn blank right before you grabbed that piece. You know, that's up to you. And then you can turn both of the spoons off. And there you go. This is the kind of experience where if you have two kids who want to play a game, you can let them play this. This is, uh, I'll say this is for four years old to six, maybe four to seven. You know, once you get above that, it becomes... Well, you could still put this, I guess, competitively with older kids, like 8 to 10 maybe, and you're going to have fights and they're grabbing pieces as fast as they can. So you can do that. I don't know that I'd go out of my way to get them, but for younger kids, they're like, ooh, this is blue. I found a blue piece. Not to mention it does give them some skills at using a spoon with less mess probably, right? So whatever you use it for as a teaching, maybe you're going to play against one of your kids and you, you probably would beat them, but you could play more slowly. So I like this. It's... I would have probably liked it better if they had made the bowl bigger and added four players in so you could play like a round table. The fact that it's two players is limiting. Um, but other than that, the components are good. It's simple and easy. These spoons are a lot of fun as you watch them change different colors. And when they start flashing, it just gets exciting for kids to grab two pieces at once. So if you like cereal and you're not a weirdo like me, this is something that you might want to check out for your kids that is crazy cereal. Dice Tower Judgment, kid approved! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com. Shut the door. Yeah.